hello 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 beautiful youtubers and welcome to yet another video with your girl Devalo. this week we will be viewing my beautiful apartment and you will see where your girl lay rest hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe comment like and share let's start the tour here at the door as you can see there's some construction happening out there so you can imagine what a rude awakening i get and here is my door this is my doorbell you can see there there's a flashlight and the flashlight is actually a camera that shows you who's at the door and then i don't have a key i have a card and i can optionally just enter the pin to my door and voila welcome to my home everyone so as you enter my home you can already see my whole apartment but i will try to break it down into the rooms that i've created for myself the first is the door space as we all know where we enter and over here i have my recycling if you are living in korea you already know how serious they take the recycling so i have bought this package um, so that i am able to separate my uh, my recycling from the onset because if i don't it ends up in piles and piles and it's not nice right this is where you take off your shoes because that's the culture in korea those are already my indoor shoes but i prefer to walk in socks and uh, when you step in you get this full length mirror which i absolutely love because which girl doesn't love a full length mirror right so the mirror is actually a closet for my shoes finally they can recognize that a girl needs a closet shoes just for her shoes and well although i haven't worn most of the shoes if not all i have my own special closet for my shoes and there i can see all the shoes i have even though it is pointless bringing heels in south korea take it from me and i hope you take my advice unlike i which heard the advice and didn't take it on the other side of this um, entranceway we have another closet which i just put like miscellaneous things um, boxes tissues um, my bags gym stuff cleaning equipment just things that you want to stuff somewhere so that you don't have to see them all over your apartment which is quite helpful because more storage means that you can hide more things right so that's all for the entrance way and as you can see it has a sliding door which means it can separate from my in my apartment be happy as you enter my bathroom you can see my bathroom shoes there and yeah i have like the normal korean bathroom another mirror i love the mirrors guys i love the mirrors and um, on the left is my shower my shower has two shower heads i normally use the small one just because it has a filter and i've been told that the water in korea is not so good so i prefer to use the one with the filter which filters the water and then we have my toiletries there things that i use on a daily basis and um, there's the shower my shower doesn't have a door which is kind of annoying but i've gotten used to it because when i arrived the water used to flood the whole bathroom but i found a way to position my shower head so it doesn't 
and over here we have the mirrors which are actually not just mirrors ta-da they are more storage and i'm not like every other girl with many 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 products just the basics right over there and on the other side i keep some lady stuff and my hair products i'm actually starting to create my own hair products because i haven't found a shop to buy any of my hair products so if you have a plug please do plug, plug me in for now i will be trying my own products which are working quite fine so far so good and yes that is my bathroom my toiletries which i use every day are out here just so that it's more convenient for me and i have a scale down there so that i can weigh myself every now and then and yeah this would be the bathroom guys lovely nice and simple small and functional of course i would love to have a bath but that's that for now so right next to my bathroom i have my kitchen and uh, down here i have my washing machine it's actually working as we speak i just paused it for the video and yeah it's working well i have a two burner induction stove which is functional because i don't really cook that much or cook a lot of things at the same time on top we have this thing that you pull out which takes up all the smoke so that your place doesn't end up smelling like whatever you're cooking so that is very helpful so that um, to minimize the smell or the smoke so right on top of the stove there's storage but i never use it because it has some pipe inside on the other side is where i store all my dishes and cookware and as you can see it is minimal one person only so if you were thinking of visiting please bring your own dishes click a type away and then i have a zinc which is big enough for my dishes and more storage where i store my detergents then we have more more storage up here where i store all the candy so that it's not easily accessible and just so that i don't eat too much candy because lately i eat too many sweets right then we have my fridge um, this is just a nice fridge you can't really see it it's like a built-in fridge so i like that part and um, in my fridge are just some vegetables eggs uh, just the basics not nothing fancy nothing extreme just what i need i am keeping a minimal life guys like underneath we have my meat i don't eat meat anymore i'm pescatarian but i decided to become pescatarian after i bought chicken so i have chicken that i don't know what to do with and some fish some rice and also some more recycling welcome to south korea you will recycle until you are recyclable On the other side of my kitchen, I have this drawer table kind of thing that I can take out and I've decided to keep it out just because it gives me more counter space, a place to put my fruit and um, it's functional. Functional is the word guys, functional. My favorite place in the kitchen would be my coffee station with all my teas. If you can't tell already, I love tea, chamomile being my favorite. And on top we have my microwave, which matches with my kettle, guys. Can you see? 
I tried to match some stuff there. Yeah, so that would be my microwave. On top of my microwave is more storage where I just keep my oils. I don't know. I just put things everywhere. I don't really have a designated space for different things but I try to keep my things as organized as possible under this table thing is my washing line so every time I wash my clothes I have to put back the table which is a job but anyway it's fine my grocery cupboards where I keep all my noodles I try not to eat all the noodles at once but they are so yummy so that is that for my kitchen everyone very small but it works it works i love it right next to my kitchen would be the place where i spend uh, i think most of my time this is my workstation, my entertainment area, my dining room. So I spend most of my time here. On top, we'll start on top. Um, this is my storage, more storage area. I have my small suitcase in there, as well as my painting things. I put this here the books and my journal here for this video but i think it works and i'm going to keep it like that and i think it looks nice it looks really cute so my journal my book in the middle here we have a box with all my goodies from school all the sweets i get from the parents and my very, very bad painting. Um, just a reminder of how I am a work in progress and I love the imperfections. So on, under that would be my vision board, missing one piece that fell behind the table and I can't get it out. So that would be my half vision board. I also have here my pictures of my pumpkin and my cookie, my favorite people in the world. Sketches from my sister, Angela Escher, very good artist, very talented. And my candles, which just help me to center myself. I love the candles, they help me to keep myself centered this table opens up and i normally keep it open because the green part is lower and i use that part because i can reach it much better so this is the room guys my entertainment area office space my humble abode And the last room that I'm going to show you is my bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> sort of. Anyway, let's start with the closet. If you were wondering where my luggage was, I've stuffed it up all into my closet and my hanging clothes over there 
uh wabona fella hopinyani kamu and then my very very organized um closet this is where i keep my sweaters i put them under there because now it's winter it's not winter anymore up there no 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 and then yes on the side we have yet another mirror for my makeup and by makeup i mean eyebrow pencil you know the basics and some um, hanger there for my towel i usually put my towel there yes and this is my bed i don't know what size this bed is whether it's a three quarter or a single single but this juvet is a bit small so i'm thinking maybe it's a three quarter bed and you know what they say about the beds in south korea they are hard so is this one but i don't mind it hey i find it quite comfortable like this is the bedroom everyone last but not least is this big beautiful window facing the canal walk now this is one of my favorite spots in the in the apartment look at the view of the canal walk and the flowers the trees so beautiful and i love i love i love i love this view so much i journal in front of it i meditate in front of it it's just breathtaking and i just love to look outside it just makes me happy to see all the trees the water I just i just love it guys yes so that is my apartment thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you'd like to know more about the apartment do send some questions in the comment section hope you enjoyed my apartment tour hope to hear from you and bye bye everyone Love you lots.